Hey everybody, welcome back to my Minecraft 1.7. or yeah, 1.7.10 pack plus. Uh, so we are going to do a couple things today. Uh, first things we're going to do is I've went off camera uh, between episodes and I got a lot of marble. Uh, so I've got nine stacks of already of marble there, and I got another nine stacks cooking up. Um, so I want to do a couple things today. One, I want to try and create if I've got enough material here. I think I do. Diamonds, gold. Uh, I need obsidian, which I know I've got. I do. Uh, I've got books. I can make a written book. I'm just looking to see... Do I have... I do. I do. Okay, so what I'm looking at making... Um, I want to make a um, an enchantment table, but I also want to make um, a um, chunk loader. So um, I think my primary goal will be chunk loader. I'm going to need one ender pearl for that. Um, I'm going to need one of these guys and a feather. I'm going to need two books. I'm going to need two pieces of one, two, six pieces of obsidian. Sorry, six of those, and I'm going to need four gold. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do our classic. Um, enchantment table here and we need two diamonds which I forgot to pick up uh, one two okay so let's build itself an enchantment table and then in order to make a chunk loader we need to do this and I forgot one goal here, here we go so there is our chunk loader so we've got that now what we're gonna do with this right now uh, is I want to make sure that these guys are going to be cooking when we're away. So I'm just going to do this. going to click show lasers. I want to make sure that it's actually going to be loaded in the chunk, and it will be. Okay, so we'll just turn the lasers off. So these will be chunk loaded if we leave here. So that's great. So the next thing we want to do is work on an advanced enchantment table. Um, so we're going to need a written book, which we can do here. We're going to need, uh, let's see here, we're going to need four more obsidian. We're going to need two more gold, because we need to make a regular enchantment table. Another book. We're going to need uh, four more gold. There we go. So that should do it. So here's our advanced enchantment table. So you make a regular enchantment table. Easy enough. There's your regular one. And then for the advanced one, you put this in the center. Oh, actually, when... Uh, yeah, I can do, do that in a second. So, and then you put gold around the outside. You put obsidian on both sides. You put a book and quill at the top, I believe. And then we need our last ender pearl here. We're also going to need one of these cinder pearls. Now, cinder pearls can be used to make blaze powder. We're going to throw that in there with the ender pearl and make an eye of ender. And then we're going to turn around and we're going to put it back in here. And boom, there's a, our advanced enchantment table. Now, this sucker, if you've never used this guy before, we're just going to throw it down on here for now. Um, this guy will let you choose your enchantments based on what scrolls we found. Now we haven't found a lot of scrolls, so obviously we're not going to be able to ch enchant a lot. We've only got unstable for armor. Uh, anything for weapons, wrath, eh, not a big deal. Uh, anything for nothing for tools. So once we get more scrolls, we'll be able to use this a little better. But we can switch it back to vanilla too if we want to just do regular enchantment. So we can just throw things in here and uh, do a regular random enchantment if we want, but we're not going to do that. So we've got that built. I wanted to make sure we had used our resources for that, uh, just to make sure we have it. Now, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to grab 10 obsidian, and I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab 10 uh, iron ore. Okay, and then I need to grab... Uh, actually, I want to grab 12 of each, so let's grab 12. And then I need to grab 30 aluminum, so there's 12 and then another 18 because what we're going to do is we're going to make some alamite today and we're going to make an alamite hammer because it just it's just so much easier so another two obsidian so each um, for every three chunks of alamite and we out of we are out of fuel interesting now do we have another bucket in here with uh we don't all right i'm going to get some lava and i'll be right back so apparently we did have lava, it just wasn't showing up. That's kind of really weird. Um, 
been getting really random things like that ever since I've upgraded to a new computer here. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. But anyway, we're going to throw our obsidian and iron in first since they take longer to melt. And then a little bit of the aluminium. So we're going to let that melt. While it's doing that, we're going to check on our uh, materials over here. So I've already prepped our site um, for the tower. We're going to build a Lord of the Rings tower today. So I'm going to grab all these guys. Let's go in here. Grab a couple of more stacks of coal. So I want to get these guys cooking here. So one, two, three, um, four, five. So there we go. Um, and what we'll do is, once these guys are done, we will head over to the location that we've chosen already to build that tower. Uh, now I've already sort of set it out uh, roughly kind of how I want it. Um, and basically the way it's set up is I've kind of sculpted the sides ready for the walls to go in. Uh, and that's going to be the main walls that go around the tower. Uh, so those are kind of ready to go. And then um, I've kind of left the center part where the tower is going to be for now. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. So we're going to do a Elamite hammer. Um, and maybe an Elamite pickaxe. Um, no, I think we'll just go with the hammer for now. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's put actually put our uh, carpenter's blocks in here. We're going to need these. We can create different shapes with these, so we're going to need those at some point. So, and the wood is, we need wood to make carpenter's blocks and we need more of them. So I've just grabbed a little bit of extra of that too. So let's go over here, drop our base in. So now we should have 36, yeah, 36 elements. So we only need 27 to make a hammer. So we're going to just uh, pour that out here. And we need one hammer head. So it takes eight for the heads and for the plate that I'm holding on to right now, uh, it takes eight for each of those and we need two plates. So we're going to put that in there, and we're going to pour the first one. So we've already got two things done here. Um, we should have nine left over, and we're going to use that nine for repairing this hammer once we get in a lot of use in on it. And what we'll do, let's go in here. We're going to grab, we're going to make this hammer a little faster. So we're going to grab ten of these, and then ten of these. Because for each 50 redstone, we can raise the speed one level. So we're going to do that. So first of all, we're going to put our uh, plate back in here. And then we're going to go to our tool forge and click on our hammer. And we're going to put our hammer together. Nice. The thing I like about putting workbenches next to these tables is you can add um, modifiers by doing this. Uh, but I find the fastest way to add, add modifiers, you notice a little hammer in here, that's because we have the uh, forge next to it. So we can do it this way. Um, and now, unfortunately, you need 50 redstone, but you've gotta, you have got you can't add an extra one here, or else it doesn't let you do it. So you got to do kind of five blocks and then five singles to give you your first rank of redstone. And then we're going to raise it two ranks to make it a little faster. And then we've got one modifier left. Uh, we're going to save that. Either we're going to use it for uh, Silk Touch or we're going to use it for um, Fortune. Haven't decided which one yet, so we're just going to leave it like that. So now we've got a hammer, so we can break stuff really fast. Let's check on how we're doing over here. We should be pretty close. Yeah, we're almost done. So once those are finished, we're going to head out. And, and I'll come back when we're already over there. I'll, I'll pull all that stuff out and I'll come back and then uh, we'll start working on our Lord of the Rings tower. Okay, here we are in a transfer world. We're just transferring over to the tower. So as you can see, I've already kind of like shaped it slightly. Um, let's close the door here. I've already kind of shaped it um, to roughly the size I want. I'm going to have stairs that go up here, and then that's going to be like one ledge. And then there's going to be stairs that go up here. And then I'm not sure how we're going to get to the top yet. I might have more stairs, um, or we might have a ladder up. I haven't really decided yet. But up on the top there, that's where we're going to have our Lord of the Rings um, portal. So let's start working on the walls here. Now what I've done, like I said, is I've just kind of gone around and trimmed down uh, to make it look like when, it, when we put the brick in that the dirt has kind of grown up around it. So we're going to put, we're going to use, I got a, a ton of marble here. We're going to use marble brick, I think, as the main, sort of the, f the base level here around here. Um, 
and then on the second level up there we're going to make that all smooth marble so let's quickly just kind of go around and we're going to fill this in really quickly um, and what I'll do is I'll just kind of do a bit here on camera just to show you what I'm doing and then after that I'll just uh, fill it in and I'll give you a, a good look at how I'm planning on finishing the rest of this off so really what we're doing is we're just laying the stone in like this uh, we want to kind of try and make it, like I said, make it look like the uh, dirt has kind of grown up around the brick, so there's maybe more brick under here. Now these um, marble bricks are really nice and bright and shiny, which um, is kind of reminiscent of uh, the Dunedain style in uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, so that's kind of one of the reasons why I use it. It's nice and bright. It's uh, kind of cheery looking. Uh, it kind of means that we're on the good guy's side which I think we're going to probably be, um, it's a little easier to play on the good guy side, I think, when you start out. So we're going to do that. Um, so let's just get this kind of filled in here. So, yeah, the stairs we're going to make out of marble as well, I think. Uh, I think we're going to use um, the, uh, is it Natura that adds the other kind of marble? We're going to use a different kind of marble because I'm having an issue with the, uh, underground biome stairs they seem to be like um, converting to a one type of stair as opposed to having individual stairs for each each um, uh, stone type which is kind of a bummer because I was kind of hoping that uh, we, we were going to be able to use um, different um, color stairs but it's, that's not going to work out so that's fine I mean we'll we can work around it so let's get this done. So I'll just finish this front wall off here and then I'll work my way around the back off camera. Um, and we'll get the rest of this done over here. Now as you can see it kind of goes around the back here. I'll, have a quick, I'll quick show, show you really quickly here. I'm going to be filling that in. So it's going to go around the back. There's like a ledge that kind of goes around the whole thing. There's going to be another wall that goes up here which will make um, regular marble. Uh, so it's going to look kind of cool. So when we're done, um, we're going to have a nice big white tower that we'll be able to see from a distance. So yeah, so when I come back, um, I'll have this first primary wall done and then we'll start working on the secondary wall, um, which is just kind of going to be the, the uh, tower wall. So I will see you all in a minute. All right, so there's the base shape. Uh, we've kind of got it in there. Now there's a, on this side over here, unfortunately I can't really finish up what I want to finish up over here. There's a big hole on this side. So I'm probably going to be putting angling stuff in later, but right now I just kind of fill the edges around. Um, so we're just going to leave that for now. Um, but what I did do is I did manage to get this stone brick all the way around kind of where I wanted it here. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a walk up here for a ledge that's going to go around this way. All right, so it's pretty much done all the way around here. Um, we just kind of shift here and show you so the wall's finished. So we're going to work on this next set of wall here um, and we're just going to use regular marble on this piece. Um, so we're going to go around basically and just fill in with marble. Now this is going to be a little bit trickier. I'm going to have to figure out what we're going to do with this. But I'm thinking up there there's going to be another ledge before we kind of go up to the final tower. So we're just going to fill in all the way around here. I love this look of this marble compared to the um, uh, Natura marble. I think it's Natura that puts it in. Um, there's like different uh, dactite cobblestone and things like that. Um, marble is one, limestone is another. But I think this marble looks a lot better. So I'm just going to use this all the way around the outside. Uh, and then when I come back I'll just show you what that looks like. But this should take me a little bit of time here to get this done. So I'll be back in a few minutes and then I'll show you what this looks like. Okay so I've run out of marble. I had 20 stacks of marble and it's all gone now. So I managed to get the main brick portion of it done all the way around the outside but I wasn't quite able to get the entire uh, just regular marble portion so let's just kind of quickly go around to the back here. I was able to kind of get it I can't really see from here and you can't really see from here. If we back up a little bit over here though. So I was able to get that kind of second layer mostly done. Um, I still need to fill in over here a little bit. I think I've got two bricks left. Let's drop those over there while we're here. Um, so I'm going to need to go mining for marble now. I really wish I had a silk touch uh, modifier for my um, hammer, but uh, that requires a lot of string, unfortunately, and I don't have that much string right now. So yeah, I'm going to need to go do a lot more marble mining in order to finish this tower. So yeah, I'm thinking. That's probably what I'm going to do. Now there's a second level. What I've done is I've put a second level up here. 
uh, I, I'm thinking that what's going to happen is I'm going to chisel away this section here and have it kind of stick out so the tower kind of comes out of this little piece here and goes up because this next level up here uh, there's going to be stairs that come up here and there's a little, like a little wall. This is going to be grass and the walls, this is all going to be wall that goes straight up. So I'm not sure, I don't know, I can put stairs that kind of go up this way and around and circle up that way. Um, but I'm not sure how I want to do this yet. I'm thinking this is going to be the main portion of the tower that goes way up. Um, and if we bring stairs up here, yeah, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to add like a little wizard's library up there and stuff, but I'm not got to figure out how we're going to do this still and then I got to do detailing work because right now we're just in a big block right um, we're going to add um, chisel chisel blocks and stuff so we're going to have some detailing on the walls um, to make it look, look a little better same thing here I might have some that come up here under this level as well and then up to the final tower but it has to be detailed for sure so I'm going to need a ton of more marble probably another 20 stacks in order to get this done so I'm going to go marble mining the good thing is, is there's marble right down under, underneath here so I'm going to go marble mining um, and then I will come back and we'll try to finish this up today don't know if I can get it done today um, this might be just end up being a really short episode I don't really have a lot of time to play today um, so we'll see how this episode goes um, and if, if I'm finding it too tedious, if we're just, you know, wa wasting time cooking, I might try and do a few other things back at the uh, uh, mining base uh, on camera so we can get some other stuff going. Like I might try and build a nuclear reactor reactor today because uh, we're going to need to start building some machinery in order to uh, get the most out of our metals. That looks like Certus Quartz down there. Okay, so yeah, I'll be back after I do a little bit of mining, so we'll see you shortly. Okay, so instead of going mining right away, I decided I was going to go around see if I could pick up some more string. Because string seems to be one of the things that we were lacking, and I found this little spider alcove. So, it's got spider webs in it, but it's also got spider spawners. If you find it in the daytime, no big deal, because the spiders won't spawn. So, I'm just going to grab all the string here. I'm going to leave the spawners. At some point, I'll probably come back here. I'm sure I'll forget it by the time I get to this that point in the game later on but I'm gonna leave the spider spawners functional uh, only because at some point um, I might come back looking for experience and it's a good way to uh, farm experience is mob spawners so yeah so we grabbed how much did we grab here 30 that's excellent and then I've, if you grab nine flax uh, and biomes are plenty. Nine flax gives you one string, so not bad. I'm also picking up wool as I go along, anything else I find. Um, yeah, so keep in mind, if you uh, spot one of these spider f spawners on your map, excellent place to find string. Um, and with the ability to make just like regular stone shears out of stone, um, you're not, not wasting any iron or anything. So just carry a bit of stone with you and you're good to go. All right, I'm going to continue wandering around. If I find anything else interesting, I'll uh, come back, but just uh, see you in a bit. All right, so a short sure way from where I was, I managed to find another village here. So I'm just kind of moving around in here. Oh, that was weird. Oh, there's a thing here. It's hidden. Um, getting weird kind of glitches. So, yeah, managed to find a village here. going to hang out here. I think I might lay a book down in here. I'm just kind of... Because it's in a desert village, a lot of the times that um, you get uh, stuff spawning in the village, like um, uh, cactus and stuff that will kill the villagers. So I'm just quickly going around and clearing all that out so they don't die. Um, and we're just going to try and find out if there's anything else in this village. Um, I'm really hoping that I can find something half decent. Um, let's have a look in here. One thing we are going to do is we're going to take the pistons here to save us time making them. If we needed obsidian, this is uh, one of the things you can do is just grab obsidian out of here. Like if you don't have obsidian, um, if you didn't pick up obsidian to start with, and you don't have any way to mine it, searching in these in the uh, T-Construct buildings, you might be able to find something. There's also patterns in there you can grab too, but I don't bother. Uh, Alright, let's see if we can get... Let's get in here. What do you got to trade here? You got a smite scroll for seven emeralds. I'm not going to bother with that. What do we have in here? Sharpness? Excellent. Infinity. And silk touch. Oh my god. Jackpot. I'll trade a, I'll trade a block. Yeah, no, I traded. It was a fair trade. 
It was stone block. It was, it was like more than just a stone block. It was a stand stone block. For that. So don't do anything to me, please. I'm doing fine today. How are you? All right. So we got three good scrolls there. One for each of our tools. We're gonna make a bow, I think, too. So let's. I could spend time trading here. I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's see what this miscraft guy's got for us. Natural fog color, emerald ore block for 20 emeralds, and seared stone block. So we don't really have emeralds for that. We got five. Um, besides, we're not going to trade right now. We can always come back here and trade. I think what I'll do is I'll put one of my books down in here. Um, this guy's got to die. They kill villagers. I just really, they just find them really annoying. Okay, I'm just going to clear these out real quick here. So our villagers don't die. They really don't know what to do when they're standing on those things. They just sort of stand there and die, and someone's trapped in here. What's up, buddy? What do you have to trade? Anything? Uh, I'll let you out. There you go. Put this right here. So you can get out of there. Oh, tower. Nice. So we can probably find a bow up there. Oh, great. There you go. These things are awful for the villages. And you got to manually break every single block. So annoying. Okay, I'm going to come back if I find anything good in the village. If not... Um, I'll come back when I'm done my walkabout. I gotta find at least, like, I think it's like, f oh god, I don't know how many string, 28 or something like that for um, silk touch for the uh, hammer, in order to just be able to mar uh, mine marble without having to uh, cook it up again afterwards. Saves a lot of coal, saves a lot of time. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so just southwest of the village, there was a uh, one of these meteor crash sites. Doesn't look like there's much more down this way, but I'm going to have to go across this way to see if I can find some more string. But anyways, now that I'm here, I'm just going to dig my way in. This is a small meteor, so it shouldn't take very long. Um, with this hammer, um, with having the double uh, um, speed increase on it, it actually works pretty quickly on these. Considering I'm breaking nine blocks at a time, it actually moves at a half decent pace. So I'm just going to break my way in here. We're going to find the chest inside. Hopefully we find, you know, two or three... Um, of the presses that we need. So it should be one more after this one. And we've got the uh, chest. Now the chests are actually not pretty nice too because they're just as hard as um, the regular skystone block here. So if you if you want a creeper proof chest this is pretty much the way to go. Um, so we should get this here in a second. And we'll check out what it had inside it. There we go. Looks like we've got two presses here. So what do we get? Uh, silicone press which is good. Logic press. Okay so those are two of the ones. Uh, silicone definitely we need. Um, logic we're going to need as well. So we picked those up. So yeah, I'm going to keep moving around and then actually I think I saw, yeah, yeah, I saw these down here. Let's get these. A few more of those. Okay, so I'm going to keep going and uh, once again I'll come back if I find something interesting. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so we finally arrived back home after going out and grabbing a bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to just put it all away here just to get an idea of what I picked up. So I got some more cinder pearls. Uh, let's put the glass jars in there for now. A um, few organic things. Got a mahogany sapling. I picked that up just because I figured uh, at some point we may want to just have different kinds of wood. So it's nice to have different kinds of wood around. Um, lots of metals here. Um, some certus quartz and dust. Uh, a couple of cauldrons. Put the gold nugget in here. Coal can go in here. Let's put uh, wool can go in here. Picked up some more ink because I knew we were low on it. Uh, this is our gear, so let's put the cauldrons in here. Um, Skystone, I think I'll throw in there for now as well. Um, so we've got a whole ton of stuff in here as well. So let's put, let's find out all the gear we got in here. Uh, magic books, regular books, those. Um, actually, let's just take as much of this stuff out as we can. There we go, and these we want to keep for the other place. So let's put in redstone in here. Um, we've got lots of organic stuff, some more raw beef, some melons I found. Keeping the cactus just in case, some leather, uh, flax, let's just drop it all in there for now. Some spectral dust from witchery, um, let's put that in here. Uh, paper, magic books can go in there. And we've got skystone. We did find uh, the calculation processor, so all we need now is the engineering processor, which is good. 
Uh, more sky stone. These guys can go in here. Redstone lamps, pistons, lots of pistons. Some more books we found. Uh, dark steel can go in here. Uh, what else do we got? Nothing in there. And I know we've got, yeah, a little bit more here. Marble, um, some of this stuff can come out. Uh, we picked up a lasting bow. So at least we have a bow now we can walk around with and some arrows. I did find a village and I got lots more emeralds, so that's great. Some of that, that can come out. That can all stay. So yeah, I think that's fine as it is. So let's put our wool in here. I think we can uh, at some point... I think we're full here. We're going to need more storage here, I think. Let's just take two of these out. Actually, that's not going to work. We can take one of these out, I think, um, and make it into some more full blocks. Let's drop those in. So we've got one more space. Let's put uh, actually the lead nuggets we can turn into a lead ingot, like so. And we've got five more air shards we can drop in. And there's still no room in here. Still haven't found any... Uh, let's pull this out. The rubies we don't really need in there. Still haven't found any um, um, charged certus quartz, which is one of the things we were looking for. Actually, this can come out. That can go in there. I know it's starting to get sloppy now. but uh, So I've got um, almost like three and a bit stacks of marble and gravel. Or, right, look at this. What are we going to do with all this stuff here? Um, let's take out six, seven, eight, nine. We can do that and put that in there. Make another block. Excellent. So now that's full. So, yeah, getting, um, um, applied energistics, getting a storage system going with that, it's going to be a necessity fairly shortly. Um, but I think what we're going to do now, um, I don't really have, like, this is just the, uh, the chisel marble. Um, I don't really have the kind of marble I was hoping to get. Um, so let me just put this, some stuff of this, put that away. Let's put that in there for now. Um, the bed we can leave out. We picked up an extra bed as well. So let's put this in here. And we'll put our marble in this backpack. Let's organize it. So that's going to be for stairs. So we're not going to be able to finish our tower today, but we will probably finish it next time. Uh, what I want to do is we're going to try and build some power. So we're going to work on getting a nuclear reactor. So I think we've got enough material, maybe yellow. I don't know if we got enough yellow right ore. Um, we're going to need to make, um, let's go here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to need to make some, um, what are they called? There we go. Get those in there. Um, uh, I can't remember what they're called. We need some of that. We're also going to need iron. Uh, so let's get a stack of iron. Well, almost a full stack or two. Actually, we're going to need a fair bit. So let's. that's going to make 54. And then... So that's going to make another 54. We're going to need to cook that up in the smeltery. So let's do that. So that's acting weird. So we can drain that. Let's put this in there first. Take this out. Yeah, see, there it is there. I don't know why. it's. I'm getting weird graphic, uh, graphics glitches here. Everything, everything, like I said, ever since I updated to my new machine here, which is, like, way better than my old one. My old one was, like, three years old. Um, I've been getting weird sort of graphics glitches and stuff running Minecraft 1710. Not really sure why that is, but anyway. So we need that. We're going to need redstone. We're going to need at least one diamond. Um... I'm trying to remember what else we need here. Don't need Certus Quartz. Um, I think that's it. We're going to need some glass. So do we have sand? We do. And we've got clear glass, but we want to get some regular glass. So let's make a couple of those. So let's do this here. Split them in half. Get it done faster. It's nice having all these uh, furnaces but pretty soon. Oh, yeah, graphite bars, that's what they're called. Uh, we need these for the big reactors, so um, we're going to need a bunch of these. Um, so, I, you know, being in here, I can work through the night, um, so that's what I'm going to do. The only thing I really have to worry about is spiders climbing the walls, but if it's a boss spider, I'll be in trouble, but other than that, I'll probably be fine. So I'm just going to work through the night in here, um, making sure these doors are closed just in case. 
Okay, glass is getting done. So there's our first three blocks of iron. We need lots of iron too. I don't think I'm going to have enough yellow right, so I may have to go mining for more, but at least we'll have a good start on this. Um, we'll make a small reactor to start, and then um, we will um, expand it later on when we find more yellow right. So that's probably going to be okay for that. And that iron is melted, so let's put this in here. Doing that. Let's go see how our graphite is doing. It's getting there. Um, okay, so we're going to need a fair bit of stuff. I like. Um, I don't like building generators because I know I'm going to be building, be building a nuclear reactor at some point. So for me, it's always better just to wait and get a reactor. Uh, the smeltery does a great job of doubling your ores, so you know I don't feel a need to get a generator and get those extra one or two pieces of this or that. Uh, it's not a big deal for me. Okay, so that's the glass. We're not going to need much glass, but just taking it because we'll need it eventually for some stuff. So we got 22 a yellowite, so we're going to do this. And then we'll have four laps. We'll have to melt five more bars and get a full one out. So the mobs are starting to spawn out there. Okay, so like this, and one, two, three, four, five. Oops. That was real smart. And one, two, three, four, five. Let's melt that up. So while we're waiting for that, let's go in here. Uh, let's get all the main things that we need done first. So we're going to need some blocks. So let's make six of those first. So we're going to need a fair bit of uh, material here. So let's, here we go, six. Um, so 24. So one, two, three, four. First thing we're going to do is make a power um, reactor power tap and then the next thing we'll do is we're gonna need two pistons we're gonna need two chests in a second so let's do this one first I'm trying to remember how this goes now it's two of those and then this no opposite way there we go reactor controller now we need two chests and we'll do this then we need to put the pistons here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's our access ports. So these are the four blocks that we need um, for the sides. And then we're going to need a um, the top part of the reactor, which is, I believe, graphite, redstone, if I remember correctly, yes. So our control rod is this. And then we need iron down both sides and that on top and bottom and a yellow orium in the center and that's our fuel rod okay so I think we might might just have enough I need another so we got nine more coming out of here that gives us 12 we need at least a couple for fuel they last a fair bit of time so I'm not worried we can find some more before then uh, we need nine for the bottom eight for the top, that's 17, and four for the sides of these guys. So it's 21 blocks. We can make four at a time, so we need to make six more. Five more. Yeah, so we've got, I think we've got plenty here. Yeah, we've got plenty here. So five more. So one, two, three, four, five. And we've got just enough iron in that stack to do this. And then we're short here. We got more coming. Do we have an oh yeah, we'll have plenty. Nice. So let's get these maxed out. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Boom. Alright, so there's our reactor. So we're gonna put our reactor. Uh where are we gonna drop that for now? We wanna be able to do some stuff. So could put it right here. I know, we'll, I mean, later on we're going to be um, putting it elsewhere, but maybe we just drop it here for now. I'm thinking that's what we do. Let's just do that for now. 
So we're going to put it right here. It's kind of a stupid looking place for it, but we'll be moving it soon enough. And then we need to do that and that. Got three left over, which we can use later. Uh, we need to get this in here. We need to put this. Actually, let's put the controller on this side. Let's put our ports here and here. And this one can stay as the input, and this one will be the output port. Now, technically, you don't need both, but I usually always put both in. And then we need to put our power tap on this side. And there it is nuclear reactor. Eulorium input, drop it in here. So let's turn it around. Nice. So let's get it all powered up. And while we're waiting for that, hey Bubba, what's up? We're going to um, go back in here, drop the stuff that we don't need in here for now. The casings we can put in here if we can, if we can't. Uh, we're going to need this. We're going to need some ovens. So let's get, we got some stuff we got to build here. So we're going to go down the um, Ender IO line. So we're going to need three furnaces, uh, cauldron. We're going to need iron, iron bars. So here's a bunch of iron. I don't think we have any iron bars yet, do we? Normally I collect some when we're around. Oh yeah, we do. Here we go. Let's pull those out. Let's put those in there. Uh, gonna need pistons. I don't know how many I'm gonna need exactly. Just pull a few of them out. Uh, let's go here. What else do we need? Um, I'm trying to think here. Gonna need uh, a couple of these. Three of these to be exact. Um, and I think I need glass. Not sure now. So we need to make machine chassis. Let's make two because we're going to make a pulver or a um, uh, crusher and alloy smelter. So, oh right, I know it goes in the center now. Sorry. We need to make. Uh, we need one, two, three, four of these, two of these, um, and we need some gold nuggets. Don't need that many, but uh, we'll put the other one. Just keep them all together. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we're gonna make some of these guys. These need to go in the center. Basic capacitors. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two machine chassis. Drop them in the center. Two, three, four. This is the alloy smelter. All right, and then the sag mill, I believe, if I remember correctly, is a piston down here, and yes, there we go, sag mill. Okay, cool. Uh, sag mill is going to get us lots of material faster, and alloy smelter will smelt stuff faster, um, as the names say. So let's put this in. No, it won't fit in there. Glass can go in here for now. Let's leave the iron bars in there for now. Um, actually, let's pull those out. Let's take out the sky stone. I'll put the sky stone in here for now. Okay, so uh, what we can do, um, what we need to do now is we need redstone. So one, two, three redstone, and then I need three iron. I need to make some conductive iron. So we're going to put our smelter right on there, and we're going to put our red iron and redstone in, and it's going to start working. You notice it's charging up here. So it's going to start making a conductive iron that we need. Oh, I feel sorry for you. Oh, no, I don't. Um, and then we need to make some conduit binder. Uh, so conduit binder is, I think we can do it right here. Yeah. So you gravel top and bottom. We need sand on both sides. That's for this version. Later on it's different. But we're only going to make eight. We don't need a lot. I think each one of these makes four. Four? I think so. Each one of these makes four, I'm pretty sure. Um, we don't need to make a whole bunch right now. Or we're going to make burn, oh, I'll cook them up in here as well. Um, yeah, so once we get that, then we'll have wiring and we can hook up, you know, whatever we need here. So, and then we can get our sag mill running. Uh, the sag mill is going to require, um, one of the reasons why I kept all the flint was the sag mill will require flint to get sort of a bonus chance to, get, to uh, pick up stuff here. So let's get that out. We're going to drop this in. 
wait for that to cook up. Some things take a little longer to cook than others, so we'll just wait for this to finish up. The binder composite goes relatively quickly. So here we go. Uh, roughly the same speed. Now you can um, make uh, capacitors that will speed this up. We'll do that a little later once we have a little bit more um, glowstone. We need that to make um, a certain uh, type of material to uh, make the advanced conduits. So let's do, whoops, conductor binder goes through the center, conduit binder on this side and this side, so energy conduit, boom, just like that. So let's put the conduit binder in there, and then we can take our power, come back out here once this is finished up. Nice. So we can take our power, now that we have it, and we can just drop it on here, and we can put, um, let's do this for now. We're going to put our alloy smelter here, and then we're going to put our sag mill on top, and we're going to put this in here, and it'll start charging up too. Uh, we can set it up so that it will automatically send stuff directly to here, um, but we're not going to do that right now. Um, I want to focus on certain things, so we don't need this conduit binder. Um, what else can we pull out of here? Let's pull out the Skystone chest. Pistons need to go back in. And let's pull out um, this, because we're going to take some levels off of that. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. So we'll do this. Actually, you know what? We're going to take these because we I was just planning on melting these. Actually, let's take the levels off this too because we can make some steel. So at the advanced enchanting table, you can do this and actually just take levels off. And you actually, it says minus three, but when you uh, remove them, you actually get whatever experience they have on it and it disenchants them, which is cool. Uh, we can enchant our stuff now too that we've actually picked up a few more things. So projectile protection, we can add it on here if we want. Uh, tells you um, how many levels and stuff it takes to get, but um, so enchanting costs 10 XP gained. I'm not sure why it says 17, but um, so let's add that on there just in case. Um, why is this? This is a crude. Uh, what the heck? Why am I wearing a crude bronze chest plate? That's kind of stupid. So let's put, uh, actually, let's leave it off of there. Uh, you know what? Let's leave out all the enchantments off for now. We don't really need to enchant anything, except for maybe the sword. We have sharpness now, so let's go as high as we can on the sword. We'll take sharpness three, enchant. The good thing about this, too, is you can actually repair it. However, um, you have to be careful because it actually uses up all your levels to repair it. I think it's kind of broken. Um, this has actually got silk touch too, but we don't have enough bookshelves for that. So let's just put these guys in here and melt them up, get some more material. Um, so now I got a really good, well not really good, but good enough sword that I can actually take on some people. 12.75 damage, so zombies are double hits. So yeah, so that's that. Um, now we put stuff away. Let's start grinding up some stuff here. So let's take our... Um, what do we need here the most? So let's get some iron going. I'm just gonna take iron. I'll just show you how. I think everyone really pretty much knows how the sag mill works. You just toss the shit in, shiz in here, and it just does it on its own. You can just leave it go. So now we're gonna take our. I put my um, chunk loader in here just so I had it, depending on where I was. So I'm just gonna throw it beside here, and we're gonna turn it on. Just only make it one chunk. Show lasers. I want to see where it's hitting. So it's actually not hitting at what we want. Pick it up, move it over. I'm just going to put it on this side. One, show laser. So now the, this stuff here is inside. So if we do leave, um, this will still work while we're gone. And then, it'll, of course, it will shut itself off. So normally what I do is I get this thing charged up to max. Once it's at maximum, uh, I just shut it off because it's got tons of power. You don't have to worry about it, right? So we put 11 here. We've already gone through 7, and it's, we got 14 pulverized. So it's doubling everything. Sometimes you get lucky and get a crit and get more, um, which you won't find by using the smeltery. And you'll often get odds, little, little odd things. So with iron, you can pick up ferrous ore, stuff like that. And you need ferrous to make invar. So, you know, 
that there we go right there pulverized ferrous material so now you can just take that and drop it in sag mill you know cook up and make an ingot so yeah that's pretty simple there's another ferrous drop that in here um, got a little bit of pulverized tin cool so that being done we're gonna uh, just cook this up real quick I think I'll stop for today too getting a little tired um, so yeah that's that oh, we got part of our uh, Lotro tower done um, let's just head back over there real quick and have a look at where we are at we're gonna um, um, get those stairs and I might do that off camera I'll, I'll get the marble stairs set up and, and put in uh, I ended my my um, my adventure near a tainted biome too so that's from Thomcraft so when we go start to do Thomcraft um, we'll have an easy access to the tainted biome so yeah so we're just going to end it for here today uh, I'm going to work on getting the stairs put in probably off camera and then we'll build the rest of this next episode um, get the top done um, the detail work I might do off camera as well I'm just going to add like little um, bulges I don't know what you would call them, little uh, parapets that stick out slightly from the sides here all the way along, kind of give it a little bit more ominous look to it. Um, but I'll have to mine a lot more um, marble for that. Oh yeah, let's just do one last thing. Let's get the silk touch on our... Uh, let's head back. Let's get the silk touch on our um, hammer, our alumite hammer. And that is relatively simple, I believe, if I remember correctly. I need string and... Yeah, we're going back here. I need string gold ingots. I need, what, 16? Is it 16 string? For, uh, let's find our books here. Just to make sure I remember what it is here. So it's in Materials in U, Volume 2. Um, so let's have a look. It's way back here. Um, auto repair. Where are we here? Here we go. So it's eight. So it's eight around one and to make one silk cloth. And we need four silk cloths around a um, emerald. So we need 32 string to get silk touch. So I'll drop that back in there. Let's see if the iron's done. Should be. Just about done. Yeah, it's almost done. Um, so let's do that real quick. So we're going to pull out one emerald. And we need 32 of these. And one emerald. And then we need gold ingots. Come on. Holy lag. Uh, let's put these in here. Uh, and these in here. And one, two, three, four gold ingots make this real quick. Here we go. Four of these. Around one of these. And then we can pull out our hammer, which is right here. And go over here. I like silk touch on this. Um, so now it's got silk touch. Uh, only because later on, uh, when we're like down mining, when we're mining redstone, um, I want to take uh, the redstone intact and grind it up um, in a pulverizer, not in the sag mill, but a pulverizer. The pulverizer gives me a chance to get uh, cinnabar, and cinnabar um, can be used for um, all kinds of crit materials um, later on, so we'll be doing that later on. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's uh, pretty much it for today. Um, if you liked it, please feel free to leave a like. If you have any re requests on things you want me to do, um, please feel free to leave that as well. Um, I'm uh, going to be going through things kind of like as I feel, but if you guys, um, if anyone's watching and you guys want to want me to take on something um, earlier rather than later, please feel free. But uh, next episode, I definitely will be finishing up that tower and getting the Lord of the Rings portal built in Go. Uh, go to the to um, Middle Earth. Check that out. Um, I'm planning. I have to update the Lord of the Lord of the Rings mod still too because it's there's a more modern version of it. So I'm sure they've got more done now. Um, but yeah, until next time, I'll see you later.